The existing power line to our house runs from these lines here over to our garage and then it runs down to the meter box down here. The current service line comes in through there and then down this garage wall here and it goes into the basement. We currently have a panel in the basement down there and this is the 100 amp line to it. We are going to be demolishing this garage so that power line's got to go. And the easiest option for us was to run this line underground so that they can come unhook it from here, hook it up in the pole, and then we can safely demolish the garage without worrying about having to run a new power line to it. The first time National Grid came out here, they informed us that the post that we had was cracked, so they had to replace it before we could do anything else. Approximately one week later, we began the work. We started out by cutting apart through the driveway. As far as I know, the trench digger that I rented cannot cut through asphalt, and I didn't want to take any chances and damage it. I then used a wedge point crowbar to smash through the 3 or 4 inches of asphalt. This thing weighs about 25 pounds, so I had no trouble breaking through. The grass and dirt were still wet from about two weeks worth of rain, so this trencher was sliding all over the place. I rented the trench digger for the entire day, but only needed it for about an hour. Since I returned it within the first 4 hours, I got a partial refund. The trench digger didn't get all the dirt out of the trench, so we used the post digger to remove all the excess dirt. This is about 130 feet of wire. It's more than what we needed. We're gonna return the leftover later on. This is just some of the conduit that we got. We also got more later on. I began by prepping the site for where the power meter box is gonna be and where the new 200 amp breaker panel is going to be. This sheet of plywood is where the new breaker panel is going to go. The way we installed the conduit over the wire is we would pull the conduit over the wire and then glue it on later. We found this to be much easier rather than trying to feed the wire through the conduit. We screwed on PVC board to the wall of the house and this is where the power meter is going to go. And the reason we use PVC board rather than kind of plywood is that this thing is never going to rot. The easiest way to get these wires into the box was to take it off, so we did just that. I then secured the 8 feet of conduit to the post with plastic brackets and stainless screws. Next we ran 50 feet of ground wire in a loop around two copper posts which we hammered into the ground. 
These posts were eight feet long. After passing inspection, we were then ready to backfill this trench. We needed some gravel for the last couple of inches on the driveway, so I got my little helper to help me out. The new power line that we ran is going to be connected up on this pole over there at the top. And then the wire is going to come down and it right now goes into the conduit down the trench that we have over here. The line then goes into this new meter box and into the brand new 200 amp breaker panel that we have set up over here. The power lines were cut off from the outside of the garage and our lines that we ran underground up the post, those were connected. We connected the existing 100 amp panel in the basement to a 100 amp breaker in the new panel. The addition in the garage is gonna get all its power from this 200 amp panel here.